We've got Dutch goalkeeper Lorenz Kulebiere with me here. Um, the Dutch went down tonight in their second game, 2-0, but he was definitely one of the stars of the game. Um, and yeah, just um, well played, you kept the boys in the game. Um, yeah, how did you feel how did, uh, from the start to finish? Well, we know Austria very well. We played them many times. And we know, knew that they were going to that they were going to be a tough opponent. Uh, no, you know, the game as it went, they got some chances, but not really big shots. Yeah. And I was able to save them uh, to, keep the, to keep the team in the race, which was great. But, um, you know, eventually, it's nice making good saves um, and to keep your team in the race as long as possible, but it's hard that you're at the end if you're still losing the team. Mm. Okay. about you as a goalkeeper is um, you're pretty calm out there. You're not uh, one of those goalkeepers that tap your head on the crossbar and <laughs> smash your pads and, and do nasty things. Uh, why are you so calm in the goals? Um, well, it's about, you know, at one point you're thinking, okay, there is another ball coming over. So it's, I don't need to stress about what's going on. I know all those five players on the pitch, the opponent is going to come to me and we push the ball and we have tried to push the ball in the goal. So it's no need to stress. And if you're calm, it's also, you know, you keep your energy, you save some energy and you can last longer and it helps me focus. The German captain, it's obviously a great honor to be part of uh, German history. It's known for indoor hockey and uh, how do you feel being captain, leading the lads out there? Um, you know, do you feel the pressure? How do you, what goes through your mind every game you play? Uh, well, I can only enjoy it as much as I can. Uh, as I said, it's a great honour to be the captain of the junior hockey team. And at uh, least I'm trying not to see it as any kind of pressure. It's something you can be proud of. What are your expectations, goals as a team? Uh, I think our expectations are that this is going to be a very competitive field of teams, and we saw it in our first two games today. Mm -hmm. uh, we competed against two very good teams and very tough matches. But still, uh, we're trying to be a European champion, and we know that this is going to be a uh, hard work. Mm -hmm. and what did you think of the game? Um, how do you think the uh, first team is fading? Uh, I think it made a pretty good match because um, uh, we had one key word for this game, it was patience. Uh, we, we saw it in, in the second half, we, we kept the pace on any goals. Uh, they came in the second half, the first half the two goals we gave away was uh, uh, four of our own, own mistakes. Uh, I think it played a pretty pretty good game, but it, it doesn't say anything for the rest of the tournament because now the big, big teams are uh, playing tomorrow so we'll see. Okay and well, how do you fancy your chances at Australia? Obviously you beat them in the Indoor Hockey World Cup final but um, different ball game, different courts, different setup and different yeah so how do you feel about that? Yeah well we we'll just watch them playing and it's uh, the amazing thing. Um, yeah but they're really really good players. It's always hard because it's just like a really indoor nation and uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens tonight. Results from the European Indoor Championship today were definitely an action-packed day. Um, we wanted that and we definitely got it. So in Game 1, Germany played Poland and Germany won 4-1. Uh, Germany definitely outplayed the Polish in all areas um, and showed their class. In Game 2, Russia beat Switzerland 4-1. The Swiss would definitely kick themselves in the last seven minutes of the game after the score was one all, and Russia even lost a man for a green card, and they conceded three soft goals. So in game three, Netherlands beat Sweden 6-2. Netherlands started a bit slow, especially in the first half after being 2-1 down at one stage. Um, Sweden just sat back and basically just capitalized on the Dutch errors. However, in the second half, the Dutch came out a lot stronger 
and uh, opened the Swedish defence to scoring four well-worked field goals. In game four, Austria beat Czech Republic 2-1. Definitely one of the pick of the games um, for the day and both countries gave 200% out there but Austria showed a lot more discipline and structure in the end and came out on top. In game five, Poland beat Switzerland 3-1. The Poles put on a solid performance to outplay the Swiss in all departments. In Game 6, Germany beat Russia 8-4. The Germans showed their class again on the counter and scored plenty of field goals from all angles. The Russians tried hard by scoring four goals, but the German structure and discipline got the better of them. Okay, in Game 7, Austria beat Netherlands 2-1. Austria definitely showed they wanted to win the game after losing to the Dutch in the Indoor Hockey World Cup last year. They attacked with a lot more purpose and the Dutch goalkeeper kept them in the game at times. But the Dutch could never find the right connections in the circle. In the last game of the day, Czech Republic beat Sweden 5-3. The home crowd really got behind their team and Sweden were a little overwhelmed under pressure. Czech played aggressive indoor and with the crowd behind them, it definitely worked to their advantage. Tomorrow's matches, well, it's definitely crunch time for Netherlands in a must-win game against Czech Republic. And Poland vs Russia could be a highly entertaining match and definitely a heated affair. So catch you then.